What up, IDS Mob? So I recently got a comment on one of my videos called How Women View Men Who Are Too Sarcastic. In that video, I talked about how oftentimes using sarcasm towards women when you're trying to date them can result in them not reacting favorably towards you. And so I had a woman actually leave a comment on that video that's pretty lengthy. So I'm going to go through her comment and stop in parts to kind of uh, agree with her or explain further what she's talking about. Okay. Cause this is a woman that actually has gone out on dates with men who have been sarcastic towards her. And she's basically saying the stuff I said in my video was absolutely correct. All right. So here's her comment. She says, really great video. I wish it were studied more in the dating world. Such a timely topic. I think a lot of people confuse sarcasm with wit. I think that's very true. I think especially men, because we always hear, oh, we got to be funny. We got to be making her laugh and stuff like that. And oftentimes the easiest form of humor to use when doing that is to be sarcastic. But oftentimes it takes a very biting tone to where a guy could think he's being sarcastic, but really he's being insulting and the woman's not taking it as favorably as he thinks that she should. Continuing, she says, I love to laugh and I love humor, but this is one of the most important videos you could make. Sarcasm is occurring in the dating world on a next level basis right now. I'm not sure what makes it so extreme lately. Well, I can answer that. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of men have been taught that in order to attract women, they need to be uh, cocky and funny. And this is actually something that uh, guru Dave D'Angelo talked about back in the day. But he didn't do it in a mean way. He meant basically be like cocky, meaning like you're assertive, you're, you know about yourself and you're confident and you can be funny as a result of that. But it wasn't at the expense of another person necessarily. But a lot of men these days think in order to be cocky and funny and witty that they need to be able to do what's called neck hitting. And I did a video about neck hitting where it's basically, uh, let's say you're dating a woman that is like top cream of the crop. She's a 10 on the 10 scale and you're feeling somewhat insecure about yourself. Well, in order to make her not think she's the hot stuff and take her down a peg or two, so that way her self-esteem is slightly below yours, you can give like backhanded compliments or you can like point out something on her that maybe she's insecure about that'll make her realize that she's not as high of a prize or as on as high as a pedestal as the guy. And so that's what's taken over is that guys are using this cocky, funny, neg hitting type humor because they've heard that it's supposed to work. And to be fair, it can work. Like guys have gone out there and said negative things about women that has hit their self-esteem, made them think less of themselves, and has, as a result, caused those women to look to the guys. It's almost like they're trying to now prove themselves to the guys. And by proving yourself to a guy, it makes them more attractive because now they're, they're investing into making this guy like them. So it can work, but it's just, it's not good for long-term prospects. Like, I have, I, I've never been a guy that had to neg hit or insult a woman in order to get her to like me. But if I was able to attract that kind of woman, I'd be kind of wondering like, why is all this negativity that I'm throwing at her causing her to be attracted? Like that would make me worry about like what her life's been like. And if this is how, if this is the mode I'm going to have to constantly be in, am I going to have to constantly be neg hitting her or insulting her in order to keep her attracted? Like, I just don't want to play that game, you know, but some guys do. Anyway, continuing, she says, thank you so much. Even men in their 40s can be extremely sarcastic. So true. The fastest way to dry up, <laughs> the fastest way to dry up the cooch, is what she said, is with constant sarcasm. I'm trying to figure out the guys who use sarcasm with every sentence. Now, I will say, I used to be this guy. And that's how I learned early on that this is not the way to be because it wouldn't just be on dates. I would be sarcastic with anybody. In fact, to this day, I can guarantee you, if somebody says a sentence of any kind in my brain, the first thing I think of is a sarcastic comment or thing that I could say back that would get a little laugh in the room or whatever. But I learned over time that when people are trying to have serious talks and conversations with you or trying to get to know you, there are times when bringing out that sarcasm is going to be more annoying then it actually is helpful. So that's something I had to learn and I've learned to to squash down over the years in terms of when I'm getting to know a person and still knowing when the timing is okay to be sarcastic but not doing it in every single freaking sentence. Continuing, she says, I went out with a guy recently who did not complete one honest sentence honestly for 30 minutes straight. He had a joke for every single sentence out of his mouth. Even professional comedians don't crack as many jokes in their personal lives every other minute. So what do you see here? You see a woman that's saying that in a span of 30 minutes, 
the idea is that you're going to make her laugh. You're going to have a good time with her. But there's also parts where it's okay to be more serious or just to say a regular sentence without having to add a joke in there or be sarcastic. Because to women, over time, that starts to seem like overkill. It seems like you're trying to be more like the clown versus the guy that she could potentially see herself in a relationship with. Because women don't want to picture themselves with a guy for 10, 20, 30 years where all he's doing is being sarcastic, being a smart aleck. Etc. Etc. Especially if they get into situations where they're having couple fights or they're getting to know each other and there's like suddenly a disagreement of some kind. The last thing you want to be using when you're trying to talk to a woman about a disagreement or argument is sarcasm because then it comes off like you're just trying to purposely disrespect her or push her point to the side and women definitely don't like feeling that. Continuing. She says, I appreciate your explanation about how guys think and joke with each other. And in that video, I said that guys oftentimes um, tell jokes or are sarcastic constantly with each other because we're not really necessarily about trying to be too feelings based with our, our male friends. So, but joking and laughing with them, it lets in the guy environment lets us know that that this guy is safe to be around and that it's cool to you know talk with them in that manner. Uh, but not always with women. But anyway. Uh, she says, but some of the guys who do it on such an extreme level really do come across as though they are uncomfortable and that it is some type of coping mechanism to deal with their nerves or anxiety. Well, I wouldn't necessarily go that far because the, the honest truth is that men that have anxiety typically aren't joking. Like if anything, they're so in their head about trying to impress a woman that they'll actually play it really safe and not try to say anything that's going to be too off-putting or make her feel less than. Especially guys with anxiety are using putting women up on pedestals. So it's very hard for them to just come across and be overly sarcastic. But even with that said, there are definitely guys out there that are overusing sarcasm. And the truth of the matter is they haven't learned other ways. Well, it's just one or two things. Either they haven't learned other ways to properly communicate with women or like I said earlier, They've learned that in order to attract a woman, they need to be funny all the time, constantly get her laughing and be sarcastic. And sometimes that leans into the mean lane because they don't know like what kind of sarcasm to use. Like I'm a person that can be funny and I can be sarcastic by way of certain sentences, phrases. I can point out things in the environment that allude to other things that are funny. Rarely do I actually go towards the person when I'm trying to be sarcastic because I got teased in sixth grade a lot. I didn't find it fun at all. So I just learned that, hey, you never know what that thing is that you're being sarcastic about that could really hurt a person's feelings or that's going to stick with them forever in a negative way that if she starts dating you, she's going to bring up every so often. Like that one time you said that thing to me that was really mean and you're never going to hear the end of it. You never know what that thing's going to be. So I tend to play it safe, but I can still be sarcastic in a way that's not overbearing, is funny, is comical, but is not taking a jab at somebody in their self-esteem, okay? Uh, then she says, when you mentioned women not having a sense of humor, I was thinking to myself, I wonder if you have actually been around the guys who use sarcasm for 75% of the conversation. And the answer is yes, I have. So when I said that, it's not that women don't have a sense of humor. It's just that words oftentimes mean a lot more to women. The things that you as a guy are saying to women, because they typically tend to bond best through communication, it's going to stick with them longer, whether it's something nice you're saying or something mean. So if you say something sarcastic, say like she has a odd shaped shoulder and you point out her shoulder to her. Believe me, she's going to be conscious of her shoulder every single time she's around you because you pointed it out. And so it's not that women don't have a humor about themselves or about the things in their lives that may be a little off about them. It's just that when they're looking for a mate, they're really doing their best to put their best foot forward. And so when you're pointing out these various flaws about them, it puts them in their head about it. And that is not a funny thing to them. Like they're doing their best to show you the best sides of them. You could just have it be made to believe that, hey, that's what they're doing. You don't have to point out, we know, they know as, as human beings, they have flaws about themselves. Unless it's something that's like damaging to their relationship that can be talked about and fixed, you pointing out her weird nose or some body part of hers or how she laughs or, you know, hobbies that she's into that you think are somewhat kind of weird. Again, those are not things that she's going to find humorous if you point them out in a sarcastic tone. That's what I meant by women don't always take those things as humorous. Because guys, I mean, it ain't even with guys to be fair, because like I've been joked on for various things and some of those things still stick with me in my head. You know, I'm able to brush them off a little bit easier. But like at times they still think about like, oh, that guy that pointed this thing out, like it's kind of not cool that he did that. So just consider that, guys, that like 
you don't have to be that guy that's going to be mean or jab at the women that you're with. It's just, it's not, it's not a necessary thing. If you're doing that because you have such a like for her that you want to make her feel like she's less than, I got news for you. Honestly, most women already think that they're less than. Like, talk to most women. Most women on some level have um, like anxiety, depression. They, even if you think they're a 10, they can pinpoint at least five or 10 different things on their body alone that would cause them to say, I'm not that perfect. I have flaws. So you don't need to magnify that for her. Okay. But just have the knowledge that most women already had that in their head and that you go on a date with a, with a 10, you're thinking, oh my God, she's a 10. She must know, blah, blah, blah. Guarantee you, she probably talked to her girlfriends about like, I hope I'm able to impress him today. What, am I going to wear the white dress? What can I show up that's going to accentuate my best features? Because I know this feature over here is my best one and I don't want him to see that or I don't want him to get too close and smell my breath or what if he like finds my hobbies all weird? Like, trust me, dude, she's in her head enough. So have that in your head so you don't have to try to tease her to make her feel even less than she's probably already feeling, okay? Uh, then she said, I swear it didn't used to be like this. It's definitely a lot more than just a funny guy thing. Well, the, the reality is that, you know, as we get older, we have more dating experiences and we experience more people and it opens us up to things we may not have experienced before. So like, you know, guys being sarcastic, if you're as a woman dating at 15, isn't going to be too much of a thing because most guys are just starting to date. They're nervous. They don't know what the heck they're doing. So they're probably going to be playing extremely safe. As guys get older, they get more money. They have more stable jobs. They get into a place in their life where they have more stability. Then that's when you start to meet the guys that are a bit, because sometimes the cockiness leans towards being arrogant. And that's when you start meeting arrogant guys that don't give a crap about your feelings because they're just like, I can say whatever. If she doesn't like it, I'll find somebody else that will. No harm, no foul. And that's the thing that guys got to work on, to be honest with you, okay? But that's not necessarily a, a, a thing that's happening more and more. It's just as you get older, guys get older, they get more confident. And a lot of guys think they can now pull this kind of stuff off where they can be a smart aleck to you. And it's not fair. So for guys that are watching this, recognize, again, you can be funny, you can be boisterous, you can even be sarcastic. But when you lean into the lane where you're being more mean about it, that's when women are going to have a problem with it. And you don't have to be mean to a woman or belittle a woman or make her feel like she has less value than you just so you can feel like you're on a higher pedestal than her. Like None of that stuff is necessary to be able to attract a great girl that you can still be funny with and be comical with without having to go the mean route, all right? But thank you for leaving that comment. I appreciate it because it gave me a show to do. Uh, for the rest of you guys, if you have any comments or questions you'd like to have answered on one of these shows, you can leave a comment down below or you can write to me personally at harrywilmington at gmail.com. If you'd like to secure a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, go to either one of the links down below or go to introvertdatingsuccess.com, click on the coaching tab, and we can set up a one-on-one -on -one phone consultation with you today. Also go to the website to check out my eBooks, audiobooks, and other various programs that are designed to help you date as your introvert itself while still getting your precious alone time. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I will catch you guys on the next show. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you later. I'm out. Peace. Thanks for listening to the Introvert Dating Success Podcast. Visit us at introvertdatingsuccess.com for more great tips on attracting women using your natural introvert charm. Oh, yeah.